Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. How y'all doing? What is up, everyone? Happy, happy Monday. Happy Pi Day. Happy Pi Day. I knew there was something today. Happy Pi Day. <laughs> All right, if you are catching this now, say hello. If you're catching this on the replay, hashtag replay below. Uh, make sure you say hello no matter what. Uh, make sure you just sprinkle this out on your page and, you know, the use, drop some hearts and some thumbs up. Super excited to be here. We're doing one last St. Patty's Day craft tonight, okay? I like St. Patrick's Day a lot. Um, hi, Holly! Um, I like St. Patrick's Day a lot. And I know not a lot of crafters do a ton of St. Patrick's Day stuff. They kind of just go right into spring, but I love it. I'm going to be paused for a second. All right, Carolyn, stay with me. Just got to go to data. I'm back. Hello. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Just had to go to data for a second. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Holly. All right. So tonight, um, just like the description says, or, you know, whenever you're watching this, just like the description says, we're going to be cutting a shamrock in half the long way, okay? I don't know what made me think of doing this. Um, totally random, but that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna cut a shamrock in half and make a really cute, I don't know, I think it's gonna be cute. I'm not really sure where I came up with the idea, but we're gonna start by just gluing some of these big popsicle sticks together because we are going to use um, a reverse canvas. So I took the canvas off of this frame and I want the back of it to be these popsicle sticks. So it's more like a shiplap look. So I'm just gonna glue all these guys together. We're gonna be doing a lot of cutting tonight with our mighty, mighty might table saw. We're gonna be cutting these popsicle sticks. We're gonna be cutting the shamrock. So some big, some big cuts tonight, guys, okay? So be ready for it. Evening, hey, Carolyn. Um, so be ready for some, some major cutting with the Mighty Saw. I'm a little bit nervous for the mess that it's gonna make, but we'll deal. Um, so yeah, say hey when you're hopping on, everybody. My name is Bethany. I forgot to introduce myself at the beginning for all of our new friends. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing one last St. Patrick's Day craft. Um, I've got my shamrock scarf and my shamrock shirt on. My shirt has like sleeve a sleeve length that I don't like. Kind of like it's a cap sleeve and with broad shoulders, it's just not my thing. Um, but I figure I can just wear it under this for this and, and yay. And then I, you know, always have my sweatpants on, you know. So normally what I would do prior to the Mighty Might, um, is it, the, yes, it's called the Mighty Might Saw, Holly. Um, it's the four inch Mighty Might Saw from Chicago Electric. Um, so instead of cutting each one of these popsicle sticks individually to size, which is what I would normally do, um, because we have the Mighty Might, I'm going to glue them all together first and then just do one quick pass. Well, we're going to hope, okay? Um, I'm hoping that these popsicle sticks hold it together with the power of the saw. It should. Of course, I run out of glue right mid popsicle stick. I kid you not, so we got this glue stick right after this glue gun, new one, right after Christmas. And I kid you not, that's only the third glue stick I've actually popped into it. Oops, my Siri is, my Siri is popping on. Can you believe that though? Like, and you guys see how much glue we use, right? But that is the third one. I am in love with my Sure Bonder. Uh, what is this? It's like wireless, wireless one. And I use the Gorilla Glue um, glue sticks. So I'm on a little early tonight. So I think that's why it's, it's taken some peeps a few to get on. But I'm so glad that everybody who's already here is here. Super pumped. It's Monday, the day after daylight savings. A little rough. I'm going to just push this over a little bit because um, uh, we need to cut some, some length off. So I'm going to push that one over. It's not going to be centered. <sighs> All right. Yeah, so it's the Monday after daylight savings. How's everyone doing? Um, I dislike... I li Yes, Holly, Gorilla Glue is my jam. Um, I like... Oh, we're stuck to the thing. I, of course, I love, um, you know, that it's light out later in the day. Love that, of course. But I do dislike that it is dark out when I uh, wake up in the morning. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, I'm going to put my my paper back just so I have a place to catch some of the some of the this. Okay, so now I need to... Oops, so yeah, that's what I was worried about. All right, so I've got my, my popsicle sticks all glued together. This is going to be the back of this 
Okay, so see, he's got like the shiplap thing. We're going to paint it, but I do need to just cut some off. So just going to... Did I leave my pencil out? No, I did not. Okay, grab my pencil. Oh, maybe I did. Grab my pencil and just kind of make a quick line. Just a quick line. So I need a place to glue this on. So measure out what we got going on. Make a quick line. And that's where we're going to cut off on our Mighty Might. Then we will cut our shamrock in half. Um, so, hey, Mom. So how do you all feel about daylight saving? Some people have some serious thoughts about it. Others, not so much. Um, how do you guys feel about daylight savings? I heard on the radio this morning. I'm going to stand up for this, right? I always stand up for the Mighty Might. Um, I heard on the radio this morning that um, there's, like, something in Congress right now that they might get rid of. Daylight savings? I didn't know that was a thing. Woo! <laughs> We're good, don't worry. We have popsicle sticks flying, people. We're using... Woo! We're going to come in this way now, okay? All right. Woo! Haha, <laughs> was that not fun? Wasn't that fun? Holy. Okay. We've got, we're cut, okay? Hi, Julia. Hi, Peggy. Sorry, we were, we were cutting. We're going to cut again, too, but I'm going to clean up a little bit before we cut again. Put my thing back on. I always put my thing back on. Um, I don't know where half of these went, these little pieces that I just cut off. I don't know where half of them went. They flew. They literally flew. Oh, there's a bunch back here. My goodness, that was fun. <laughs> um, they're all over the place. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Okay, let's clean up. So I use my little, my little vacuum. Hey, Peg. Hey, Julia. We're cutting. We're cutting wood. Cutting some uh, popsicle sticks. Then we're going to, next, we need a new battery in this finally, I think. All right, this is going to be the hard one, guys. So we're literally going to cut a shamrock in half. I don't know if it's going to work, <laughs> but we're going to try. That's, and if it doesn't work, um, if it doesn't work, I have a second idea. So if it doesn't work, I have an idea. But I really want it to work. So this is a shamrock from the Dollar Tree. Um, I did put some putty in this hole. I wanted to show you that. I put some Dollar Tree putty in um, the hole of the shamrock where the, just one of them, because I'm only using half, where the hanger usually goes. Once I cut it in half, then I will um, sand it. Uh, who just hopped on? Hey, Mary. All right, so wish me luck. We're gonna cut a shamrock in half. And I was saying in the um, description, I don't know if it's bad luck to do this, but we're gonna do it. I've never cut anything this big. Ooh, it's doing it. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, we're through the thick part. Almost there. We did it. We're through. Woo! Look at that. Who that? Look at that. Woohoo! Power tools. You gotta love them. All right, hold on. I always unplug this when I'm done so that when I move it, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, close her up. That was our big moment for tonight, guys, all right? Got some sawdust to clean up, but nothing too bad. All right, we did it. That was intense, guys. That was one of the bigger, that was one of the bigger ones I've done. Okay, so let's get back to crafting now that we have sawed everything in half to the size that we need so oh so back to daylight savings i had heard that there's something going through congress right now to stop doing daylight savings which i also learned recently that the whole state of arizona doesn't do it um so i don't know i feel like there's bigger fish to fry but i also feel like daylight savings isn't important to keep i don't know I heard, though, on the radio um, that daylight savings is bad for our health. Like, there's more heart attacks um, afterwards. And, um, 
like all sorts of things. And I was like, no way. Oh, I put it the wrong side. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't put it the right side. Um, like more heart attacks and more car accidents. That one I understand. Um, but anybody have any strong feelings on daylight savings? I don't have any strong feelings on daylight savings. Like I said, I'm a little bummed sometimes that, um, that I'm sanding down some of these rough edges that, you know, it's dark in the morning when I get up, but that will change soon. That's only for a little while. All right. So we literally just cut, we just cut a shamrock in half. So I just sanded down the putty that I used to fill the hole and I sanded down the edge a little. So now what we're going to do is paint, okay? We're going to do some painting. So everything is going to get stained, both the background and the front ground. Hey, Shannon, um, the background and the shamrock. But then the background is going to get um, some petroleum jelly on it. And then we're going to do like a chippy white paint look. Um, and then it's going to have the natural wood frame on top. I don't know where I came up with this one, okay? This one's a new one for me. We'll see if it works, okay? I don't know. I was going for like an artsy look, you know, the shamrock off to the side. I don't know. I don't know if it's even going to work. I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to cut the end off of this shamrock. We'll probably be able to do that with scissors. All right, so let's go. Let's get my paint. Um, so I don't know. So again, daylight savings, right? I don't know what happened this morning, but driving to work today, I think there's more traffic on a Sunday trying to drive in to where I work than today. I don't, I was pleasantly surprised by the little amount of traffic that I experienced this morning. Not that it's like too, too bad usually because I go early because I work in a school. So, you know, you get in early, but, um, man, yeah, I was like, where is everyone? It was kind of eerie. Um, it's very eerie, actually. Anybody noticing that? I, I'm actually finding that, which it sounds counterintuitive because I've heard people who do the opposite commute of me, uh, Mondays are like the busiest, but I find that Mondays are the slowest. Um, and I don't know if people like like to work at home on Monday to start their week, their week early. Um, I will say this whole like work from home newness that we've got going on, I love it. Um, I don't work from home very often, but I do love it. I do love it. Um, I think it's not for everyone. I think you have to, you have to like it. Um, I do love working with people, but you know, with zoom and, and being connected that way. Um, and I feel like we've all gotten used to zoom in a way that we can. Hey, De hi Debbie. How are you? I feel like we've all gotten used to zoom in a way of like using it as a conversational area. Um, and like learning how to navigate it that way. So I don't know. I'm not, I don't hate home. I don't hate the, the work from home life at all, actually. Okay, so there's our stain for the background, okay? I'm going to let that dry for a second. And then we're going to stain our shamrock, our half a shamrock. If you're just hopping on, um, we cut down these popsicle sticks to size to use behind um, our frame. And then we cut down this shamrock, all right? Um in half because we're going to be artsy with it or something. I'm going to try. It's our last St. Patrick's Day craft of the season. And I really wanted to do something, like I said, more artsy than, um, than like cute. I want it. Yeah. So I wanted kind of something rusticy art. Um, so, so that's what we got. So I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to cut some of this stem off, like a bunch of this stem off. So I'm just kind of like, just kind of making a line where that stem's going to have to get cut. Um, so St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Do you celebrate? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell Oh no, that's, yeah, is that how? Oh no, that's love me, love me, say that you love me. Not tell me, but whatever. Um, so are you doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, do you celebrate? This year is a little bit better too, right? Because things are open again. Um, Oh, thank you. I have three silk scarves that are St. Patrick's Day that I was like, I need to, I need to capitalize on this. So Thursday, I'm going to wear my favorite one with my, my green sweater that I love, um, that my mom got me for Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. And then I think tomorrow and Wednesday, I'm going to wear this scarf and a different one. Um, just so I can wear them all. Why not? Why the heck not? So we're not big St. Patty's Day celebrators, um, but I do always make corned beef. I always make corned beef. Uh, I do not make cabbage. We're not humongous cabbage fans in terms of just like boiled. 
Um, I do make that Reuben slaw that I think I've told you guys about where it's like cabbage and pastrami and Swiss cheese and all that in like a coleslaw style. Um, but I don't make boiled cabbage when we do the corned beef. I do the corned beef in a crock pot um, with its little packet. I'm getting, I just got pain on my arm. Um, and then I do roasted potatoes and roasted carrots. So just a little something different. We don't, we don't boil a lot here. We also, do, 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 we made corned beef for dinner tonight. Had to do it. Oh, delish. Now, Julia, how do you make your corned beef? I know everybody, like I said, I do the crock pot, um, but everybody kind of has their, their way. So how do you do your, your corned beef? But we just, we love the corned beef. Oh, mom, I meant to tell you. Uh, I went to text you, I should say. M the corned beef is that we got is two pounds and it was eight bucks. It was a steal. Uh, actually, they were all on sale for that price, though. All right, I'm just quickly staining our shamrock. Again, I wanted to do something more rustic as opposed to, more like get at a country store as opposed to like cute, bright color, kind of like that. Kind of more of the, the um, of course, I learned how to say the welcome in Gaelic and now I can't remember. Um, but more country like that than green and, fan, you know, bright like that. <sighs> Made in the crock pot and served with roasted potatoes. Oh my God, Julia, we're on the same page. I love it. We're doing the same thing on Thursday. Crop out for, oh, baked potato. I love a baked potato. Although I will say, and Bob can attest to this. I eat a baked potato for the butter and the sour cream, right? Many foods that I eat, I just eat as a vehicle for condiments. Um, like chicken fingers. I mean, I love chicken fingers, but they're a vehicle for sweet and sour sauce. You know what I'm saying? Um... And french fries, I like ranch with them or, or sweet and sour. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, my baked potato is for my sour cream and butter. Um, I made uh, cauliflower mashed potato. I call them cauliflower mashed potatoes. Like, mashed cauliflower is what I made tonight with steak and cheese. Um, and so, I get frozen cauliflower. And so, this is done. Okay, so this is our half of our shamrock all stained and that's how I'm going to keep it. So I get the frozen cauliflower, like cheap at Market Basket or whatever, and I cook it in the microwave for 12 minutes on a paper plate. So when you cook it that long, all the water absorbs or evaporates or whatever science-y thing happens to it. Um, and then, um, and then I throw it in a, um, what's that thing called? The food processor? Throw it in the food pro food, blah, blah, blah. hello. Throw it in the food processor um, and put it in with some butter and some garlic. Um, like it's like a garlicky paste that I get in a jar um, and salt and pep. And then I put the blender on, I put the whatever, the food processor on probably for a good five minutes and I just let it go. Um, and I'm just, so I'm just taking out an old brush and some petroleum jelly. I don't even know how to open this. This is new. I, had, I wanted some. How do I, there we go. Um, I know this is going to seem weird, but it's going to give us the chippy effect, okay? Um, so, and then, yeah, so then I put it in the food processor, and I let it go for, yeah, at least like five minutes. Um, and it comes out wicked smooth, like mashed potatoes. Bob was like, tonight Bob said they were the, one of the best I'd ever made. I was really excited. Um, but yeah, I, I think I make pretty good mashed cauliflower. And then I made, I got some shaved steak, um, which shaved steak is so expensive these days. Just meat is expensive these days. Um, but hey, God, God bless us all that we have meat to have and supermarkets to go to and the freedom to do those things. Um, so I didn't get a ton of steak. So I get like some big, big onions and I saute a bunch of onions first and then put the steak in with them, cook it all up, some garlic salt. Garlic salt is like my new thing. Discovered it one day and I'm like, where has this been all my life? Um, I put it on everything. Um, I'm like, I'm like Eli Manning with the buffalo, the buffalo sauce. Like I put that sh on everything. Um, that's me and garlic salt. And... Oh, I need a chip brush for this. I just got these at Dollar Tree today. Chippy brush. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh, so then I just do the steak and the, on the onions. And then I just throw a ton of mozzarella cheese shredded in there. And then we just eat it like that. Like we don't use a bun or anything. Um, so good. 
So good. That's our, that's our steak and cheese. I used to do it with buns, but not anymore. Not anymore. I'm trying to eat better. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. So this morning, I wanted to try doing like a... This isn't going to work. I wanted to try doing like a... um A green like detox kind of smoothie. Um, I'm just taking some white paint out. Fudge. Um... And so I looked up a recipe online or I saw it on like an Instagram post or something and I had it this morning. So it was a cup of spinach, a banana, um, a cup of spinach, a banana, a green apple. So I'm just dipping my chippy brush in some white paint and kind of taking it off too. going to go right over this petroleum jelly. Okay. Um, and so banana, Granny Smith apple, cup of spinach, lemon peeled, put the lemon in peeled, um, a cute half, like half a big English cucumber, um, and water. I think that was everything. Blended it all up in the Nutribullet and had that for breakfast, even though I know I don't normally eat breakfast, um, had that for breakfast. OMG, was it delicious? I'm kind of like doing an experiment because it's so good for you. It's like packed with pro with, with nutrients. And so I really, I, I feel like... I don't want to do, I'm trying to like not do the intermittent fasting in a way, but I feel really guilty eating in the morning now because my mind has been so programmed to not eat in the morning. It's kind of weird how your mind gets that way, huh? Um, all right, cool. So there's our, there's our chippiness. Um, so I figure if I eat something super healthy, I'll feel better about it because if I eat regular breakfast, um, even like a low carb, but maybe high fat breakfast, I swell. It's like my body doesn't know how to process in the morning anymore. So I kind of wanted to get it back in there and figure it out. I'm just going to dry all this up. Um, so I figure if I eat the, if I do the green smoothie, it might be better. Um, have any of you ever done like a green smoothie? But I have to tell you, it was so good. Um, I know it sounds weird, but it was so good. Um... And I, I felt full and, and it, yeah, I don't know. I just really liked it. And I, fig, I figure, what, I weighed myself yesterday and I'm going to see if I gain weight because I'm eating three meals a day again, you know. Um, I'm hoping I won't because I'm eating such a healthy first meal. You know what I'm saying? Like a nice pick-me-up. They also say it's like really good for your skin and all of that. And there's, so apparently it's a thing called a green smoothie. I had no idea. I just saw a recipe for this particular one, but apparently like if you use any, any combination of fruits with greens and any kind of greens you want, whether that's kale, spinach, collard greens, whatever, um, combine that with some fruits. Um, and it's called a green smoothie and I guess they're always all good for you. So, um, yeah, I was kind of pumped about it and it was really, really good. All right. Now I'm going to take my scraper and hope that this works. All right. So putting the pajamas, Hey, Alicia, um, putting this petroleum jelly on with the paint on top of it, the, the idea is that when I scrape off where the petroleum jelly was, some of that paint is going to come off. So we're going for that chippy look, although this already kind of looks chippy from the way I painted it. But see how it, it comes off now because of where that petroleum jelly was? So that is the look we're, look, we're going for. All right. Kind of neat, huh? I think if you let it dry too much, it doesn't work quite as well. I don't know. This is pretty dry and it's still working. So, but yeah, so we're going for that, that chippy look. Ooh, that looks cool. All right. Neat. So that's all done. That's all done. Oh, so what's everybody been up to? Has any, so has anybody ever tried the, the green smoothie? Um... Oh, who, Kara's here? Oh, hey, Kara. Sorry, I didn't see you. Hey, Kara. All right, so let me just grab another paper towel real fast and wipe some. We're going to dry this one more time, I think. All right. Ugh. So we are, we're, actually, this isn't going to take too, too much longer. I don't even think I'm going to put any embellishments. I don't know. I'll let you guys think about it. Um, but we've done a lot of different effects tonight. Um, so we... We did the petroleum jelly to get the chippy look. We cut, we literally cut a shamrock in half. <laughs> We're going to glue that on. 
We did reverse canvas, but I didn't um, I didn't videotape the reverse canvas. I did that first. But I see lots of new friends hopping on. So say hey when you're hopping on. Um, I'm just drying this up because it made a mess. It made a mess. Made a super big mess. So we're going to little mini vacuum. I'm telling you, this tabletop vacuum, this little thing is the best thing I've ever gotten. I love it. Well, it's a lot of best things I've ever gotten, but this is definitely in the top 10. Definitely in the top 10. All right. You got to get, and it's, I mean, you don't need it just for crafting. Like it's so great just for the office, right? You get your crumbs on your desk and all that kind of stuff. All right. So we're going to get this out of the way. And I will finish cleaning it later. Alrighty. So now on to the finishing touches. This actually didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Oh, I did some of the work ahead of time, so that's why. Okay, so we've got our back. It's all chippy, right? Um, we're gonna glue this on the back of our reverse canvas. So just a reminder, um, this is the thing where you get a canvas from Dollar Tree or wherever, and then you cut the canvas off on the back with your um, box cutter, all right? Now, normally I would use that canvas um, and cut a nice piece of it and kind of make it the back of this, but we're gonna use this as our back tonight instead because I kind of wanted a shiplap look. All right, so now I'm going to this hot glue is good, so I'm going to get it going and just go all the way around. Like I said, this one's pretty good. It stays hot for a while. So I've got some time to work with it. Hot that one up again. All right, there we go. Now we're just going to set this on it. Set this down. Oops, and scooch it over a little so it's not overhanging. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. Ow, ow, ow. Got hot glue all over me, and that hurt. All right. Oh, we might need to do something with this frame. I don't know if I like it. You're going to have to let me know. Okay, friends? I don't know if I like the frame. I don't know if I like the frame all natural. You're going to have to let me know. We could do it green. We could do it green. Um, to bring in just a little bit of green. I could do that like English ivy green. What do you think? Should we do it green? So here, I'll show you what we're going to do to finish it up, okay? And then you can decide if, we, if you think we should make it green. So essentially, we're just going to place this shamrock right in it on the side there. I don't know. What do you think? I'm kind of, I feel, I'm feeling it. I like it. Do you think we should paint the frame green? Um, so this is what it's going to look like once we glue it together. But I'm thinking we need to bring a color in for the frame. So I'm thinking we're going to do that English ivy um, that I love so much. It's a um, definitely like a darker green. Use a nice brush. I think we're gonna paint the. We're gonna paint it green, and then we'll glue it together and it'll be done. All right, cool. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I I think we're gonna we're gonna put some paint on this um, on this frame to finish it up, and then we will glue it. Now I wish I had figured this out before I glued the back on, but that's okay. So here we go. We're gonna paint this green. Oh yeah, I like. I like. Oh, so what's um so is anybody like does so does anybody celebrate St. Patrick's Day like hardcore? Like going out, bar crawl, moment, anything like that? We do not do that. We do not do that. That is not our that is not our MO. We're not we're not bar hop people. But does anybody do that? Because I actually think it sounds really fun. <laughs> Sounds really fun. It's not for me, but it sounds really fun. Now, I'm only going to do one coat on this. I want it to be um, still pretty rustic looking. So, yeah, tell me what your plans are for St. Patty's. And then St. Joseph's Day is on Saturday. So, Day of the Zapolis. Um, Day of the Zapolis. Now, we give up sweets for Lent. So... We can't have the Zapolis yet. So here's a funny story. So today's Pi Day, right? 3.14, whatever, you know, the, the science-y thing. And so my work gave us pies today. Isn't that clever? Um, 
So we got pie today and we were able to pick out what kind we wanted. So we picked out um, pecan pie, which is, so it's not really something I can make. And it's not something that a lot of people make well um, in terms of like stores and stuff. So wanted to give that a whirl. So we did. So we got pecan pie. We've gotten it before. And um, it's in our freezer right now, literally in our freezer because we, I, well, I, not Bob, I messed up when Lent was going to start. I thought it was going to start a week later than it did. And we were doing a diet right in the middle of the week when it was starting. So the ice cream I had bought for us the beginning of the week to have as a treat afterwards at the end of the week, we couldn't have because we gave up sweets. Um, and then the diet we do, well, Bob did that diet where there's vanilla ice cream involved. And then we had a, a tiny mini cake left over from something like mini piece of cake that again, we were like saving for a treat afterwards. And so literally one side of our bottom drawer of our freezer is all the things we can't eat during Lent. That'll be ready for us when Lent is over. We've got the pecan pie, the little piece of cake, the two things of ice cream. I'm like, oh my God, if we lose any weight during Lent, we're going to like gain it back in about five seconds when it's over. Easter is going to be rough. Um, oh, it's too funny. I was like, how did I mess up Lent? So bad. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. So I've got the outside painted. The inside is going to be the tricky part. So I'm going to dry this up first so that way I can hold it while I do this. Does anybody else give up anything for Lent? So we give up alcohol and, um, and sweets. Which kind of stinks for St. Patrick's Day um, in terms of the, the beer. However, uh, Irish soda bread does not count so as a sweet. So we can still have that. I have to go get one too. All right. Let's finish drying this up and then I'll just paint the, that inside rim. And then we will glue the shamrock on and call it a day. And this is just going to be kind of a shelf sitter, like a lean, a lean kind of moment. Lean it up against kind of moment. You know, if you have it on the fireplace mantle or something, just kind of lean it there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is carefully, carefully paint this inside. I don't want to be totally blocked from you guys, so we're going to kind of do this here. Just going to carefully paint this inside. Oh, so over the weekend, so, so we watched some movies over the weekend. Um, we watched Cruella. On Disney Plus. Has anybody seen that? Hi, Auntie Kim. Has anybody seen that? Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm like, that's okay, Auntie. We are just paint, finishing up this. The, we cut a shamrock in half, and we're going to put it in this frame here that we're just finishing up painting. Um, but so has anybody seen the movie Cruella, the the remake? Not the remake, but like the live, live action version of the 101 Dalmatians, even though like it has nothing to do with that. So I guess it's not technically a live action version of that. It's more... Um, just a story of Cruella and how she became who she was. Um, and it was, I have to tell you, for a Disney film, how incredibly, dark, we just watched, no kidding, and we just watched it this last, this past weekend too. How dark, um, but so good. I mean, and you know it's good when Bob picked it out and Bob liked it because Bob is not really a Disney fan Mostly, I mean, there are some Disney movies he likes. Um, you know, appreci appreciates, I think, is a better way to put it. I could watch Disney movies every night. Um, I could watch Disney movies every day and every night. I love all of them. I love Disney Channel original movies. I love the animated movies. But Bob, not so much, understandably so. And um, But he picked out Cruella and really liked it. It was, like, like I said, wicked dark, but really good. And then we watched... Um, we watched um, this movie called Antlers, which was about like this Native American folklore tale. It was kind of creepy, um, but it was good. But it was good. But it was creepy. It's called Antlers. So if you like a little bit of a scare, not, I don't know, more of a jumpy than a scare, um, that was good. And then we watched, we watched a lot of movies this week. Oh, no. Well, one of them was Friday night, I think. Um, we watched, oh, Moby Dick. With Chris Helmsworth. So, I mean, like, hands down, it's going to be a good movie no matter what. Um, and Tom Holland was in it. So I'm just discovering who Tom Holland was, is, is, young guy, is. Um, and now I'm, like, seeing him in everything. Um, we saw Uncharted at the movies last week, and he's in that. I saw um, Moby Dick, and he was in that. But Moby Dick was really good. Um, really good. Really good. 
so good, and the man who sewed her costumes in the movie, so good. Oh, her costumes were outrageous. So, if you haven't seen Corella, I won't give, like, anything away, but Corella's a fashion designer. Is that... So, disclaimer. Oh, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle. <coughs> why I bring water up. Sorry, guys. I've got something caught there. Um, so, no, this side is better. Um, I've never really, sorry, I still got a tickle there. I don't know what it is. I feel like I have popcorn stuck, but I haven't had popcorn. Um, so, I've never really seen 101 Dalmatians. I'm not really an animal person, so I was never really into that one. Um, is Corella DeVille a fashion designer in 101 Dalmatians? Because I have no idea. Um, but she's a fashion designer in Corella, and it's just fascinating. Emma Stone is great. Emma Thompson is great. Okay, so here we go. Here's our frame, all painted now. We just in English ivy, just to bring in a little green. Um, and these are just jumbo popsicle sticks on the back. I'll probably stain the back later just to make it look a little more professional um, because everything we make is for sale. So I like to make it look nice in the back. Um, so here's the front, shiplap look, nice English green there. Now we have our half a shamrock. We literally, just as those shamrocks you can get at the Dollar Tree, we cut it in half. Um, I put some putty, some Dollar Tree putty, in the little hole where the hanger usually goes, just so that you didn't see the hole. And that filled out really nicely. You can't see it at all. Um, I just put the putty, let it dry. I did it like, I don't know, a few hours ago before I made dinner. Um, put it, let it dry, sanded it off. And now we're just going to glue this into place. And that'll be that. I'm very excited about this, actually. Okay, I am going to... So I really only can put hot glue on these hearts because it's elevated. Which is kind of neat that these hearts are on the back. Um, so it g gives it a little bit of prop up. So it's not just a flat piece. So that's kind of neat. So I'm just going to, wow, this hot glue is very hot. This um, glue gun works extremely well. Okay. You can see all the glue strings. I can't stand it. But it is what it is. All right, here we go. Let's get this in place. Bring it down. Perfect, perfect. I don't mind if it's not, my, my cut is not totally straight. I mean, we used the little Mighty Might, so it wasn't anything precision, but we did our best. Just pushing it down. And then I will show you the finishing, the finished product, all right? Whew, okay. Here we go. Get rid of some of these strings. Nice sturdy piece. What do you think of this? I actually really like this. I don't know what in my my right mind made me think, let's cut a shamrock in half. But I wanted to do something different. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, I just wanted something totally, totally different. Um, and I'm trying really hard to make more like rustic country store stuff as opposed to super cutesy stuff because I think... That's what people like the most. Thank you, Mom. Um, so like I said, I'll paint the back so it looks a little bit more professional and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so that's our finishing pro the finished product. Um, again, just to kind of run through, we did a lot tonight. So we we made a, a we took the reverse canvas, we took the canvas off of this frame. Um, this is a Michaels one, so it definitely is a little bit more uh, better quality. Um, took the canvas off, then uh, threw that out. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Auntie. Um, I used some jumbo popsicle sticks for the back, glued them together, then cut them to trim. I'm going to sand that too. Um, and then glued them on. Uh, when we Before we glued them on, we stained them this color, then put petroleum jelly on it, um, and then put some white chalk paint on top, let that dry, and then scraped it off so we had that like chippy shiplap look. And then we just stained this shamrock that we cut in half and glued it on and painted this. I mean, it, I know, sounds like a lot of steps, but it didn't take all that long. And I talk a lot, right? Um, but, you know, it's just fun to play around with the materials that you have. I mean, this is all wood. I love making wood projects, um, but I also love making mixed media using other things you can see up there. But um, yeah, so that's our project tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, 
<clears throat> I hope you all have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and a wonderful St. Joseph Day and a wonderful Ides of March tomorrow. Um, and I will see you, yeah, I'll see you next Monday, right? Keep trying to think, like, do I have plans? No. I'm always here. I'm here with you guys on Mondays, right? Um, so I will see you next Monday. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I actually really, really like this, so I'm very excited about it. So thank you so much again. Um, I will see you next Monday. Have a wonderful week, and always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.